So there's a question asked. Once there was a question asked that Mohini Murti is the same. She is, you know, this very gorgeous lady, the most gorgeous lady to have ever been born. Uh, and the demons were completely captured by her, you know, appearance. You know, not in a good way, in a you know, sexually attractive way, in a mood of exploitation. But the devatas were also there, right? Yes. <laughs> They were also there. They also saw Mohini Murti. <laughs> oh, I wonder how they reacted. Yeah. When they saw her, what happened to them? It is said, because they are so pure and, you know, their activities are in general divine and, you know, they are followers of uh, God. The moment they saw Mohini Murti, they felt as if she is like our mother. She's like a beautiful mother, you see. The most oh. beautiful mother. And when they saw her, they just bowed their hands. Because they knew that she is actually Lord Vishnu. Uh -huh. But they did not get sexually attracted to her. Can you believe it? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. So that means... When you are in the company of good people, when you are with people who are striving for spiritual progress, then even if there is Mohini or anything you know like Mohini, you will always see it in a good way. Like in India, there's a famous saying, you know, like Chanakya Pandit, he says, you know, Matravat Paradhareshu. That statement is there. That statement means that any woman other than your wife. Your mother. <laughs> your mother. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Any woman other than your wife. Your wife is the only exception. Wonderful. That's very nice saying. Yes. Chanakya Pandit says this. No? Paradravyeshu Loshtavat. <laughs> Wonderful. Other property is like stool. Do you go and touch stool? No, no. It's abominable. So don't put eye on others' property. You, know, you will ruin your mental peace. And in fact, uh, this is also there in the Mahabharata where, you know, there's this great fratricidal war and Dhritarashtra is the king. And the king tells to his minister, his younger brother, you know, Vidur, he says to Vidur, my dear Vidur, I don't get sleep in the night, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Vidur says six types of people don't get sleep, six category of people. Of course, I don't remember all the six, but one of them, the last one was one who has usurped the property of others cannot sleep in the night. So there you go. If somebody is troubled by insomnia, one of the six reasons, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm oh, not saying yeah. who is suffering from insomnia has taken somebody else's uh, property. But uh, if you read that uh, part in the... Mahabharat, six reasons why you can't sleep. Maybe I will make a video on it some other time. But anyways, the point is uh, the demigods, although they were there, they also got attracted to Mohini Murti, but as if she's our she's mother. Mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a divine attraction, a motherly attraction. And the dem and the demons, they were, you know, oh, we want to exploit her skin. If you just get her now, you know, let's enjoy. You know, let's. Mm -hmm. go around with so that's the thing you see the object is the same but depending on who you are you will perceive it differently oh definitely yeah yes so that's what is the lesson that if you stay with good people then rahu cannot torment you if you you do good activities yourself and if you your company 11th house aquarius friends my god friends <laughs> Third house represents the superficial connections. Hi, bye, tata. <laughs> you know, with whom you spend very less time. You know, it's like superficial acquaintances. Like somebody you meet in the street. Facebook friends. All right. Best friends in Facebook. 11th house. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. That's the third house. Seventh house represents your very, very, very intimate connections. Like your wife or your husband. Yes, primarily. And 11th house represents your friends and your network circles with whom you go to gain things in life. Aha. Uh -huh. And then the, fa the Facebook and the social media will be the third media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 
superficial stuff you know uh -huh, and, yeah. that, and that is why they say that if you want to know uh, there was a person who said that don't don't i don't want to meet you to know who you are i will just meet the five best friends that you have i will know oh, who you are we have the same in my culture yeah yeah so no, uh, that's what you know. There's this story in India in the Vedic tradition. There were you know two birds, you know, who were the they were brothers actually, you know, from the same uh, bird. And then one used to stay with the thieves, and the other used to stay with saints. And then after 15, 20 years, they met each other. And you know, the one who used to stay with thieves and rogues, and you know, he was just going on speaking the most false you know words you know such nasty yeah yeah the language uh, who used to stay with the saints and the sages he, his words were very sweet he was very divine mm. you know he was very nice so in essence rahu represents uh, rahu can be cured very easily if these two things we take care one is what we do ourselves and then who do we asso associate with if we associate with people in the community who are you know discussing about affairs about you know the opposite sex about money and about you know wine you know, and about how to yeah yeah how to put us down if we are associating with these kind of people if we are watching such stuff in the internet then then that's uh, what will ruin us. And if you are watching adult movies like you know pornography, for example, then uh, we are we are themselves we are ourselves going to Mohini and telling you know come and kill us. Oh, that's why we killed Rahu, right? Ultimately, we are masters of our own disasters, right? <laughs> yeah, that that is why I have I have some friends uh, from Pakistan here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so he uh, they they used to say sometimes you know in Hindi and in Urdu there is a statement like this you know that mm -hmm. apni parbadi ka jashn manana it's like celebrating your own downfall you know what you know, about Ketu then now what you're saying I I understand it like it is very much up to us our own behavior attitude perceptions deeds. Yes, on how the eclipse is going to either it will ruin us or not, right? It depends on us. This is according to Ketu, to Rahu. How about according to Ketu? It will be again related to how we perceive. Yeah, Ketu, Ketu is what basically Ketu, as I said, it's the it's like a hard disk, <laughs> it represents all the files which we have deleted. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, very good, uh, very good. Deleted means. We have realized that oh, they, these files don't serve me. No, no use. These are useless files. Throw them. Throw them in the dustbin. All the recycled files. So Ketu is the storehouse of all those files. So now what? What Ketu is actually telling us that? Look, Rahu told you that you will have this new life. You know, this life you will be born in. You know, Mexico City maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Last life you were in Florida and the other life you were in uh, New Delhi, India. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Every time Rahu cheated you by telling that, no, no, just add more files into the your hard disk. You know, you will become happier. You know, this life you had a Mercedes, next life you get a Bentley, then you get a Rolls Royce. That is how you become happy. But... Ketu tells you, hey, you already have all these luxury cars, you know, in the trash can. All the luxury cars you have purchased. You have been Bill Gates in so many lifetimes. You have been Mark Zuckerberg so many times. You have been the richest man. Maybe you were in the heavens also. You were Indra, maybe, you know. <laughs> Everything is in the dustbin, trash can. They did not make you happy. All right. So Ketu, uh, if there is an eclipse related to Ketu, then you will be forced to look back into that hard disk and then depending on your situation situation means who you are and uh, what kind of company you have that will decide either you will uh, put new files or you will go towards spirituality 
Oh yeah. So it's again up to you. Yes. Everything That's is up to us. How you see uh, this conjunction, quite heavy conjunction now, uh, Saturn, Ketu, and um, it is, it's not a joke. I mean, it is quite, it, it will ruin the markets. It started already. How you, how you see this? Because Saturn is the other teacher of wisdom and tears. Saturn is always with a stick. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jupiter is the see Jupiter is also teacher you know he's the nice teacher <laughs> he's the teacher you know when the teacher is just starting to teach you know the students are listening patiently the first 15 minutes <laughs> and then the students you know they are making noise and they're like no no we don't want to listen to you know now the guru is speaking too much <laughs> <laughs> He's always sweet. What was the approach uh, in India in the ancient times? I know it was again observation, of course, like the Babylonians did. But what would they look at apart from, uh, you know, the planetary positions, Sun and Moon, Rahu, Ketu, of course? What else would they look at? Would they look at the winds and all these other ominous stuff around the eclipses? Yeah, that is very much explained in the Mahabharata and in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Very much it is explained. In fact, there was this, uh, uh, if you have heard of this Mahabharata and the Kurukshetra war, you know, there was a big war between the Kurus and the Pandavas, you know. And the Pandavas were headed by Yudhishthir, Bhim, Arjun, Nakul and Sedev and Lord Krishna was on their side and they were victorious ultimately. And the Kauravas were headed by Duryodhana, of course. You know, that's the DNC, Duryodhana and company. And uh, they were the most evil to be ever lived, to have ever lived. So in that, when Duryodhana is born, you know, it is described in the Mahabharata, what was happening in the universe. My God, if you read, you will get fear. <laughs> It was, uh, it is indicated that uh, wolves were howling, you know. All right. It was, uh -huh. indicated, it was indicated that there was drought. When he was born that time, there was no rains. Can you believe it? It was indicated that rivers were drying. Oh, this is... The other way around, when you know, when Alexander the Great was born, the climate became beautiful, the rivers were full, the, the nature was rich, the agriculture was rich. It was just, it was golden era. It's like the other way around of what you're just saying. Very interesting. Yeah. And then when he was born, uh, then uh, the prime minister of the kingdom, you know, Vidur, Vidur is brother of Dhritarashtra. Mm -hmm. Vidur consulted, in fact, he didn't consult all the astrologers and the pundits and the rishis and they came to Vidur and said, Oh my God, Prime Minister, there is a disaster at hand. A demon has been born in your family. He's going to ruin your entire existence. Your entire dynasty will be finished just by the birth of this demon. And then Vidur after seeing all the horoscopes and deliberating with all these ministers and seeing all these omens, you know, all these deadly signs and the another indication, you know, donkeys were, you know, making sound, you know, they say braying or something, right? So, then Vidur went to Dhritarashtra and Gandhari's mother, you know, Duryodhan's mother. He said, my dear king, my dear elder brother, please dismantle this son of yours. You know, please destroy him. Otherwise, he will destroy the entire race. The entire Kuru dynasty will be finished. And when Dhritarashtra heard this, he was like, Oh, he's my son. You know, <laughs> I can't yeah. do that. No, no, he's my son. <laughs> and then Gandhari's mother, he was like, you know, she was embracing him. She was like, no, no, I will not give my son. You know, whoever he is, you know, he's my son. And and then Vidur tried his best to explain that, you know, yes, he's your son. That's perfectly fine. But don't forget you are the king. You know, all the citizens are like your children. So to protect so many people, you know, it is said, if you, even if you need to dismantle one, then that 
that should be done you know but they could not do that and then they Duryodhan started growing and he always used to harbor envy hatred greed against the Pandavas and ultimately led to his destruction and on the other hand when Yudhishthir Maharaj who was the eldest of the Pandavas when he was born wow there's this description which is exactly like what you mentioned you know it is said that you know the flowers were blooming yeah. Yeah. Yes, there were there were rains exactly when needed. There was no floods, no exactly. drought. Yeah, and the climate was soft. Yeah, and it is said the cows, their udders were so much filled with milk. You know that milk was coming out automatically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And everybody was feeling that I should only think good and do good and be good. You know, everybody was suddenly feeling like, what the hell is going on? You know. <laughs> when you said this, you make me think of the yuga. Now this yuga, Kali yuga, ending Kali yuga. Tell about this and um, how to link it with the eclipses because uh, there is, yeah, um, it's very interesting. This is knowledge which is amazing in the Vedic astrology. Can you, can we make a link? Yeah, Kali yuga is the word. Kali yuga means it's the age of Kali. Kali, yeah, yeah. The bad god. <laughs> yuga, yeah, yuga means time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so kali means there are two two meanings of this word kali. Kali means quarrel and hypocrisy. Oh, see. Okay, so that is why people want uh, people like to see you successful, but not more than them. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Your best friends, everybody, they want you to be successful. But the moment you cross them, then they become your enemies, whoever they are. You know? And quarrel, of course, that's needless to say, right? What keeps happening? In mm -hmm. fact, till today, you know, there are so many wars and all these things going oh, on. Yeah. So Kaliuga means Rahu's power is at the peak. That, uh, itself, that is what Kali. Kali Yuga is a oh. very long story cut short. Rahu oh, yeah. is all over the place, you know. Even in the astrological community, also they will talk of Rahu, 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 but they they behave like Rahu so many times. Oh, very good. <laughs> so many astrologers I know, you know, they will talk of uh, because ultimately what Jyotish is, you know, it is one of the Vedangas. Its ultimate aim is to take you towards God, towards spirituality. And there are so many astrologers I know who will propagate Rahu or, you know, uh, they will speak in a way. So now, like recently I saw one uh, astrologer, she made a video on you know, uh, Venus in Gemini. All right. Venus has entered Gemini now. So, so she said, you know, so Venus has entered Gemini. It's a great time for having, you know, love, sex, fun. Oh. And, and like, my God, this, this is, <laughs> you are not talking of Venus. You are talking of oh. Rahu. Exactly, exactly. It's inappropriate. That's not Venus. Venus is the Karaka for the seventh house, not third house. No, no. Seventh house is the contract that you sign. I promise to stay with you for the rest of this life till I die. Yeah, yeah. Venus is not the Karaka for, you know, infatuation. That's Rahu. When will people differentiate Venus and Rahu? When? I don't know. This is lack of uh, mythological knowledge because when you know Venus has no such nature whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the, it's so funny, you know, like uh, so that that's how Rahu is, and politics is all about Rahu, you know, like business. They are cheating people and you know getting money, and it's all Rahu basically. But there's something great about Kaliuga actually, which nobody knows. Tell me because I haven't seen anything great. I want you to give me nah, good feeling of telling you. <laughs> you will not see this anywhere. You will only see this Tell in Shrimad Bhagavatam. So what is Shrimad Bhagavatam basically?